everybody, welcome to the Bilzer Show. I'm your host, Dirty Rotten Holes to Gil Bilzer. Here I am. But, for the last couple days or so, on and off, in between my videos and stuff like this, I've been doing some battery terminal switching outing, I have. So I have went to, all my batteries are going to be the XT90s for my RCs, Jim. So, I've already started doing it. I'm not a very good solder, by all means. We're halfway there. The only car I got left to change over is the uh, X-Max and then of course the UDR which is going to be a tough one. I'm not sure how to do that one yet. I'm going to disassemble the whole truck to change it but I'm going to change it because I want every single RC I have to have the same connection. Friggin' right I do. I'm sick and tired of having all these different adapters and everything else and you lose them and you can't find nothing and you get dicked over. Anybody else out there like that, leave a comment down below if you are. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like uh, trying to blow us up with Bill stuff. Why wouldn't you? Friggin' right, you better. But first thing you want to do is always cut one at a time, Jim. So we're going to go for the black we are. Uh oh, hold on, didn't quite get her. Let's do it again. There she is. We'll go for the black one first. I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see down here. It looks like you can. So we're gonna give it a little choppy choppy and we're gonna look for the negative, which is normally this side here, sure is. And we're gonna feed her into her. Oh yeah, we did, but don't forget the loom, Jim, or the heat shrink. I forget the heat shrink constantly and you'll see this in this video. I guarantee it because I cock it over all the time. I always forget the friggin' heat shrink. I don't know how many over there I got taped right now. You better cut off some of this because it's a little long it is. So give that a twist real good like that. <sighs> we'll look for the negative. We'll stick it in a pair of pliers like that so it holds it and we'll uh, feed her into her. Captain, just like that. There we go. Now the object here is to solder that. And for some reason I have a hell of a time with it I do. And you'll see. I gotta sit here and hold it forever. And I got a brand new soldering gun and it's still gonna sit here and hold it forever. Um, that's hot. Tighten her up a little bit. And here we go. Let me zoom in on you. Well, actually, you being zoomed in, you can probably see better than I can, for frig's sakes. Actually, I know you can. So just sit here and we'll hold it until it gets so hot, it melt, damn near melts the terminal. Why wouldn't we? Are you watching? Probably not. This is ridiculous, man. There's got to be an easier way. Hey, if I'm soldering wrong, leave your comments down below and tell me what I'm doing wrong because I have a hell of a time with solder, I do. I think I got her though. Ooh, careful, that's hot. Yep. Hey. Nothing like a good blowjob, boys. Girls. Ow! Fig! I tried heating up this and putting some solder on it first and then put some solder on the wire and then try to join them together, but it doesn't seem to work either. So I'm just not having much luck. It's probably because it's a cheap kind of solder nowadays. Let's face facts. They don't make solder like they used to. Frigno, what's burning, Jim? Who, eh? Who? Smells like an ass. It does. It smells like a dirty old freaking ass, boys. All right, that's pretty cool. So let's try to get the heat shrink. Remember, always let her cool down before you try to push over your heat shrink. Even though this heat shrink's probably too damn small anyway. Just gotta freaking give her the old twister whiskey, we do. Twister on, Captain. I haven't got the ideal heat shrink for this job. My heat shrink's all getting low, it is. I've got low heat shrinkage. All the sizes I got are, of course, in between what I really need. And like I said, why wouldn't they be? So, there's one kind of done. Kind of looks cocked over is what it kind of looks. If anybody's wondering, I'm doing these. This is the X-Max batteries. These are the 4S batteries made by HRB, which aren't as good as I hoped for. So now that's done, we can cut off the positive side we can. And we'll uh, give that a little yank of the old doodad. And we'll uh, slap on some heat shrink. Captain. Slide her all the way down the shaft. I was going to buy the ends that have the actual clips that go over it. But I didn't. Why would I? So give that a really good turn, if you will. And we'll stick her in, Captain. There we go. Now we'll put the friggin' heat to her. And sit here for another friggin' month. Why wouldn't we? I find that sometimes if you get the solder going, it heats up quicker. I know a lot of these are going to say, you don't know how to solder. You're right, I don't. I can solder little stuff, just not big stuff. I'm not the best at soldering these big wires, Captain. I don't care. I'm not me any. I do like to make sure it's soldered real good, though. How's it look, Captain? 
Looks like a cold solder to me. Feels good though. Fucking odd. I almost need a rag to cool it down. <laughs> Ready? Listen for it. Oh, it didn't do it. it. Must be already cool. Freaking right it is. Oh yeah, it's solid, Captain. So there we go. Slide the heat tank over it, and hopefully we got her just where we want her. Yeah, the heat shrinks. This heat shrink's way too small for this job. I'm gonna go up a heat shrink size. And we'll try it on the next one. I don't care if it's the same color or not. I know it's not gonna be, but we gotta we gotta do something. This is not working, Jim. I gotta massage the shit out of it just to get it over the connection. But it went over. Pause is all that matters. Negative can show a little bit. I don't care. As long as positive's covered. So there's one battery. And uh, we're moving on to the next we are. Which is this guy. Right friggin' here. So what we need is we need to find different size heat shrink. So we'll try this size. So I'll cut the negative off, slide some shrinkage over it. We'll use a whole piece, I don't care. Hmm? It's only street shrinkage. Splice the old wire. Is that? We'll mount it in my pliers. We'll slide her into the hole, like so. And we'll put the friggin' heat to her, Jim. I wish this thing was cordless. There we go. It gets in the way. Cord gets in the way, it does. Of everything. What the hell? You're not gonna be able to see because I gotta go on this side. Oh well, whatever. Uh oh, melt my terminal. Jim. Oh come on. As you can see, I got my new soldering gun in. It works pretty good. It does. Good old Amazon. Let me know in the comments below if you want the link to that soldering gun. Cause I'll give it to you. Why wouldn't I? It's how the dirty old bills of rolls. Me? Hey, you want her? We'll give her to you. Why wouldn't I? Put the friggin' heat to her, Jim. Here's a soldering gun I'm using right there, right off Amazon. Works pretty good, it does. If you know how to solder, like me. Oh, she's mint. So, we'll be able to put this heat shrink over top now because it's bigger. Look at that. Friggin' right, I should have been using that in the first place. Let's see if it'll heat shrink down though. Oh, it did. Why was I using the other heat shrink when I had that awesome heat shrink? Like, look at that. The only thing is I'm gonna have to use like a blue for the positive side, but it is what it is, it is. You gotta do what you gotta do, you do. At least I don't have to wait for it to cool down now. That's kind of nice. Blue it is, Captain. Because I don't think I have any red. Oh, I do have red. Yeah, I do. See? Friggin' right it, dude. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So we'll slap this back in here like so. We'll give her a twist jobbage. We'll slap her in here. And we'll lay the old heat to her. Still haven't fixed that other battery yet. Did fix the uh, balance port part of it. So the only thing I don't like about electric is battery issues, but fuel is just dirty. Everybody has a different opinion on RCs, they sure do. So actually I find if you give the wire a little twist, it kind of helps to get it hot faster. Friggin' right it does. That works good actually. There you go, tip of the day from Brelsev. Give her a twisty. <coughs> little twisty action. Oh my god, that's, that's big. I don't know if this is going to work. That red's definitely bigger than the uh, black was. We friggin' got her, and it looks friggin' mint. Look at that. That's how it's supposed to look right there. So there we go, those are done. We still gotta change the boat battery. It's been a long time since I had that thing out. Now we gotta do the X-Max. So I gotta try to get it up on here somehow. It's not gonna happen, is it? Friggin' no it ain't. Oh God. This is gonna be a pain in the assholes. Oh well. What are you gonna do? So this one's got to go to a positive terminal. So let's start on this one first. We're going to go with the blue one because the blue, red one's kind of big. Blue. Oh, it reaches just. You're not going to be able to see much here, but hey, you get the point, you do. Stick that in there like that. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how when you get RCs and you buy aftermarket batteries and stuff like that, you got to do all this battery terminal bullshit. And it's a pain in the ass, but you got to do what you got to do. You do. So that can be heat shrinkage. There we go. So now we'll take this one. There we go. And this one's got to go to a negative terminal on another terminal. Heat shrink. You almost made me forget. Frank, don't do that to me, eh? Stick her in a hole, Captain. Nothing like a good hole stick. Oh, yeah, we did. I don't want any noise. Eh? Noise is butter. Just feed the solder to it. Just remember, there's always one way to tell if you have a cold solder, it falls off when you're in mid-throttle body, eh? But I do find if you give it more heat or more solder, it does heat up faster. Because you're putting hot liquid, hot materials into her. Not really. Oh, no. 
No oh, goody. Now it is. Cool her down. Slide up the lumage. The heat shrinkage. Give her a heat job. You watching? Probably not. Hey, while you're watching this boring video, let's destroy the dislikers, eh? I got a few people that dislike, and they're the same people. I know they are. But please try to hit them like buttons, because I love them. I love the like buttons, I do. Just like every other YouTuber out there. Friggin' right. So this is pretty straightforward, this one. I'm going to connect these two together. But what I should do is maybe get... Let's see if I can find a longer wire. Look what I found. I found a longer wire. Hey, hey. Nothing like a longer like wire, Captain. Friggin' no, there's not. Careful. What happened? Remember, if you're changing the wire, make sure it's the same size, especially on the ground. Because if you go too small on the ground and overheats, then it's gonna melt that wire first, right? So always make sure if you are putting a different wire on, it's just as big as the positive side, or you'll have some dickered problems, you will. Big time dickered problems, Captain. We'll slide that in there like that, and we'll uh, stop the heat to her, Captain. Hurry up, wait. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of everything that's going on around here and of course I like to hear from you guys to let me know what's going on in your world why wouldn't you don't forget to do that because I really appreciate that kind of stuff and I like to know what's going on with my fans I do fans become friends they watch me I don't know you personally but it feels like I do by your comments so hopefully everybody's doing good and I'm kind of jealous actually because you guys know me pretty good because you watch my videos But I don't know you guys at all. So that kind of really sucks, but it is what it is. I guess she is what she is She is that's what that's what my wife said to me Doesn't it feel weird to have a fan base and don't really know anybody or any of them? I was like yeah, sometimes it does but you get over it Listen. Oh, yeah. I enjoy doing it and as long as you guys enjoy doing something keep doing it. That's why I say there's always going to be somebody to tell you that you're wasting your time and this and that. Don't listen to them. Hey, Brian, quit telling me I'm wasting my time, bud. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I know he's changing the gas tank and the cutlass, and I should go over and maybe give him a hand, but i got my own shit i got to do. Man, oh, man. Sure, my stuff might not be important to somebody, but it's important to me. Very important to me, actually. I really enjoy what I do. I enjoy my job, too. As much as I say I'd rather be retired, I do enjoy my job. I just wish I had more time for everything. Seem to do all right for the amount of time I got. It's always nice to have more time. Careful. I'm doing a melt terminal here. Too much heat into it right now. I want to make sure you don't melt the terminal, that's for sure. Okay, what's going on with this f***ing thing? It like goes on right away when you put the torch on it. And they can't even hold the goddamn wire, so it's not like it's not f***ing hot enough. See, this is what I mean. This is what pisses me off when I'm soldering. Does anybody else have this problem, or is it just me? Now I'm not going to be able to get it in the hole because there's too much f***ing solder in there. Oh my god. Nope, not going in. Why would it? Last one. It's giving me the hardest time ever. It's got the hole plugged right up, just like Jizzy and her friend. Put the f***ing heat to her. I think I might have won. Sure did win. Well, there you go. She's done, Jim. So you got positive to positive, negative to positive. Negative to negative and that's how you do a, a leader me catch your leader Jim And now we have enough to go to each battery. That's fucking decent. There we go. So now that's transformed to the XT 90 Friggin' right it is. So all we got left is the boat and the UDR But the UDR is gonna be a teardown to change that I did the slash I did the T-Rex 4 skins I did the other rock crawler there the axial I did the X-Max I did Melanie's Rustler. Frig! We got one, two left. The old Spartan. I should pull out the Spartan and uh, resolder the connection onto that thing. That's that works the same way as the X Max. It's a 6S boat, so I'm probably not gonna have all these connections can go right in the garbage can because they're just cocked over. Junk. It's junk. There, right it is. If you screw up a connection, just throw it in the garbage. They're cheap anyway. I bought two bags of them, and I'll put the link below for them. They're cheap. I bought two bags of them. I still have more over there. So I always buy extras, and now I can clean out that other case with all these Mitch Max connections that I don't need. See, that's why I'm doing this, because I'm sick and tired of having all these connections for all these different RCs. And let me know down in the comments if you have the same problem. If you do, you got to do what I'm doing, you do. Freaking right you do. But anyways, hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am. That's what I've been up to. 
Hopefully you're up to the same. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button. It's raining out again, so we can't really do anything outside, as you can see, probably in the window, maybe. No, maybe you can't. But it's raining out again, so we really can't do nothing outside again. Me and Melanie are going to play some Minecraft here in a bit, probably, for a little bit. Uh, have some downtime. And uh, until next time, you know what to do for now.